Mornings can be super busy, especially when you have little kids or if you're heading out to work. Here are three make-ahead breakfasts that are from scratch, healthy, and gluten-free to make your week less busy and your mornings more enjoyable. So first, let's make some breakfast muffins. These are really quick and easy to grab first thing in the morning if you make them from the night before. And you can make them any flavor you want. I'm making cinnamon, oat, and raisin muffins. But you could make yours blueberry or sausage, or actually, you could try put them together and see if it's a good combo. And if you do, let me know how it goes. I know some people have small breakfasts and some people need larger breakfasts, so if a muffin is too small for you, maybe you could try making a really jumbo one, or you could pair it with a smoothie that's really quick to make, or you can whip up some scrambled eggs or something really simple. I'm having scrambled eggs and sausage. I mean, I can't just have a muffin for breakfast, I'm pregnant. <laughs> so, yeah. But it's definitely something you could just have really quick first before you start making breakfast, like if you wake up really hungry, like me. So definitely give it a try. The next one is waffles. This one is really convenient. You make them from the night or the morning before or any time that you have time and you just put them straight in the freezer when they're cool. These are 100% customizable. You can add sausage. A really nice combo is cheese, like sharp cheese and scallion. That's what they call it in Jamaica. They call it scallion. I know people call it green onion, but that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about green onion. Cut that up with and shred some cheese into the batter. Wow, tastes great. You can also put sausage in the batter. Fantastic. <laughs> you can use the waffles as like bread replacement so you can have a breakfast sandwich with the waffles put some turkey in there put some eggs in there whatever type of sandwich you want i made raisin um, chocolate and i also did plain and then you just if you have a cooling rack definitely use a cooling rack once they're cool put them in a freezer bag and put them straight in the freezer and warm them up the next morning fantastic The next one is granola, also an extremely simple and 100% customizable breakfast and it's just too easy to make. You can have a fruit and nut mix, you can have chocolate and peanut butter. If you want to make it vegan, you can use coconut oil instead of butter. I do a mix sometimes. If I don't have butter, I'll use coconut oil, but I mean, when you use butter, it tastes really good. Um, yeah, super, super easy. And then you just have it cool, place it in a jar, and then you can keep it on the counter or you can keep it in the fridge. Depending on how long, you know, it's going to, you're going to take to finish it. After three days, I would say put it in the fridge. If you are interested in any of these recipes, I want you to head to the link in the description because one, some of them are in my cookbook, two, I am doing a recipe of the month thing. So if you sign up for my newsletter, you'll get a new gluten-free recipe every month. Um, I did the first one this week and it was apple pie so if you're interested in that just definitely sign up for the newsletter below let me know if you try these if you made it to the end of the video comment your favorite flower emojis and let me know which one of these you're gonna try or if you're gonna try all of them and if you haven't subscribed yet remember to subscribe and like the video and share it with a friend who has busy mornings and they need some solutions. So see you in my next video.